Alright, I haven't made any videos in a little while. I'm still using the same. It's a... 11 plate. 6 inch, six inch cell. It's being powered by a... I have a... It's a Variac. I mean a... AC DC rectifier on a heat sink. Well, that's just a little brushless fan from a computer. And that's working like that because I'm running low voltage as of right now. I'm only running 10 to, I've had it up to 12 volts. I'm actually using this as a little tiny line like you get from a three way extension cord, a, a junk inside the house one. The cord's rated for 120 volt, 13 amp. But I'm not sure which world they was talking about because I can get it hot at like 12 volt around 30 amp It don't melt the coating off or nothing. I'm a bit afraid to crank it up high. I'm still in the house But that, I'm powering off a of Variac. Uh, it should have a knob on top of here This is the one that I, I got and I had a stepper motor that was assembled to it here so that the electronics could control your voltage output So I just took that took that crap off I'm now hand turning. I'm going to get a knob and a nice plate and stuff so I can do the voltage and make it look pretty later, but it works real good as of now. And actually, I'm, I'm having some problems with that. I had to really up my lie level in my electrolyte, and I believe it's because that's limiting my amps. So, like for comparison, if I unhook it off of here and plug it into my, that's a 12 volt charger there. It would try to draw like I would I would guess around 80 amps or something at this current mixture for me to be able to pull the same high amps, keep it around 10 amps, 12 volt, at 10 volt coming off of that. So it may be more useful to have like I see people are taking the transformers out of the microwave and rewrapping the primary coil or the secondary or one of them to get lower voltage high amp. But here's what I'm showing. I got that cell's running. And my reservoir's so high like that because I had a mounted level with each other. And I don't think it gives you enough water pressure flowing through your cell. And it would get very, very hot real quick. I mean, within like five minutes at the same readings that I'm running now. And now with my reservoir up above it, I can crank it up till I'm afraid that wire is going to catch on fire. And the cell temperature doesn't even change. I'm, I'm talking like two to three degrees above room temperature now I'm I don't have the proper wires to give it a real long run but I'm going to that's a 30 amp variac so I'm gonna go ahead and hook up some good wires here eventually and beat on the cell for a little bit and see if I can get it to heat up but I'm really really impressed with I have my reservoir approximately three feet above it and I can really really crank it up and it's still still gets water flowing through it nice but in my process of trying to get my amps up because of using that variac I had to up my lie levels which resulted in a very yellow flame I had a real pretty blue flame before and I was impressed with it I'm I was thinking the blue flame meant that I was only burning hydrogen I have that this is a part from an oxygen from an oxygen thing to put water into it so it don't dry you up when you're breathing it. That's filled with white distilled vinegar. I'm gonna set the camera down. When I hook that up, that brings me back to my pretty blue flame. Now I know I didn't discover this or anything, but I've heard people say before about using the lye, using distilled vinegar to neutralize the lye. And I'm not sure what, what byproduct the gases are inside here. It has to be turned into live vapors into something. I'm just not sure what. But now I'm running. It's the same. I did just have my torch hooked onto here. It went from here out to my torch head. Now it's going from here, bubbling through the distilled vinegar, and then coming back out my torch head. I'll crank it up here a little bit. 11 amps, 10 volt. Oh, it should, I should be back to a nice blue flame with just little hints of color in it. 
I gotta wait till it burns out what was in the line. Flush it out real quick. I'm running out of memory here. But after I left, left that burn for a few minutes, my flame went back to really, really nice blue. So I might possibly try a few more of these vinegar bubblers to see if I can get back to a pure blue flame. But I am really happy with putting my water reservoir higher than my cell. I can really, really crank the crank crank the power up and it doesn't even get warm 